hello hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Nura and I'm from Ghana West Africa if you just tune into my channel you are welcome 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 <laughs> okay feel free and subscribe to my channel it's free and to my subbies thank you so much guys thank you for holding me down so in today's video we'll be talking about things we should not we should not ever it should not ever cross our minds on a first date yes taking someone out or going out with somebody on a first date you should not do any of these things and here is why if you'd like to know stick and stay and watch this video till the very end i hope you enjoy this let's get into the video shall we stuff we should not consider doing on the first date um, I have been on several dates so let's say it's from experience whatever <laughs> okay so guys we do not for the guys please if you don't have money don't invite a lady or don't take a lady or like over to a date because you don't want to take the lady to your house this is for the guys do not take the lady to your house if you want the the lady to feel comfortable secure and like very okay and have a very pleasant um date and a very nice conversation don't take the lady to your house like your house should be like on a third or fourth date or something like on a first date your house is a no-no please mm -mm. for me it's it's a no-no like like the, the moment i realized you're taking like to your house like bros are you for real your house ha please biko <laughs> don't take the lady to your house that is point number one okay so now we're moving on to point number two point number two don't serve an already open drinks or juice or wine or whatever now you've taken a lady to your house let's say um and the lady is actually like very comfortable and you you're about to serve like serve her don't serve something you've already used you've already um opened okay so that she wouldn't have any thoughts of um um, you dragging her juice or like any of those drama like just be clean you get it so just in case you like you're a gentleman and you don't have a problem hosting your dates in your house um i i have been to like i've been on dates where like a guy took me to his house and he was very gentle with me like throughout i actually enjoyed my stay like to a point where i didn't want to go home because i was like i felt over comfortable like i was really really feeling <laughs> i was really feeling comfortable so here is a case where you want the lady to feel very comfortable and like to enjoy like her time and her stay in your house so don't bring an already opened juice or wine or whatever everything you're bringing should be like fresh you should open it in front of her like better still let her open it herself okay like you want to play clean and safe as possible as you can right so point number three is do not sit too close to your date like do not sit too close to to her so assuming the girl is in your house and you probably especially like in ghana most of the guys you know they don't even have like like um how do you call it not even plastic chairs so they don't have like sofas or like um like a sitting area so all you have is the bed so even if it's a bed crample please don't sit too close to her listen you are trying to send a signal and you're trying to tell her like you are harmless and you like she should feel comfortable around you you don't want to be so close and like when she shifts to that side you to you'll be 
you and you are doing shooting cultivation on the bed, like. <laughs> like what's that? Bronze. If you know you do shifting cultivation, that's why you, you are supposed to take her to like an open place. Don't bring her to your home or like your house and try and abuse her. Don't take advantage of people when they visit you, especially not on the first date. So try not to sit too close to her. Even if it's on the bed, it's fine. But be like uh, maybe somewhere very far from her. You know, and have a very nice conversation. Like talk about basically everything. It shouldn't be around sex or anything. Like talk about like general stuff. So that this lady is going to be like, wow, like, you know, you know, I'm even sitting on his bed and he's not even making any. Yes, we are like that in our head. Yes. Okay. So please try and make your date feel comfortable. That is if you make the mistake of taking them to your house, which is a no-no for me. Mm. All right. So point number four, don't ask unnecessary questions. few moments later <laughs> so how many guys have you dated what the fuck do you care like did i just say that what the heck do you care like how many guys have i dated like seriously are you being for real some will even ask you like how many times have you had sex on the first date you should be talking about, oh, like the day you met and like the future, what are your plans? Really sensible stuff. Not, not how many guys have you dated and how many guys have you slept. Like it's dumb, like it's stupid. Excuse my, like excuse, but no, but it's stupid. Who does, like who does that? Like how many guys have you slept with? Hey, bros. I think shit, let me faint. Now you you turn uh, what inspector of police or you mm, what's in knee interview knee or what I I'm not I'm not getting it because is it an interview ha huh. mm. so with the guys if the lady or if you took the lady to your house fifth point is don't be tempted so here the lady is like okay you're feeling comfortable like you're having a very nice chat like you're sipping some juice or water or maybe like you got some popcorn like you guys are watching a movie and it's nice and everything don't feel tempted guys yes i know don't feel tempted she's beautiful she's smelling nice mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but don't feel tempted take your time and relax take a deep breath can you pretend you're sleeping when you feel like touching her? Mm -hmm. Pretend you're sleeping. Like, just pretend. Don't like sleep, but pretend. So instead of like harassing her or trying to force yourself on her, try or pretend sleeping, okay? I think it will help you like a great deal than doing anything that you're going to regret on the first date. Okay, so with those who can afford and your pockets are okay, why don't you take her to like a restaurant and like an eat you or like a very open place, okay? It doesn't really matter like if it's a high, we for, I don't like high like class or this expensive places. Like any nice place, yeah, it's okay. You get it. So it wouldn't be like you are trying to paint or like to say, you are nothing like just relax okay okay or um someone say moving speak ha yourself you have not even been there before but it's because the guy has brought himself. You just want to toast him. Don't do that. A very nice place. A very cozy, like, you, you know, um, out of the, like, odd, no noise, no smoking. You know, very chill. Just you and your date, you know, have a very nice time. Not necessarily, like, an expensive place. No. So, moving on. Um, 
to my ladies do not order something you cannot pay for okay this is an advice people find very weird like ah but i'm on a date like he said he's going to take me on a date and he's brought me on a date so why can't i Vico, i'm talking from experience don't order something you can't pay from your purse assuming you're going on a date all the money you have in your purse is 100 cities like with your tnt and everything it's 100 cities if you get to the place probably uber took 20 cities or like 25 cities you have like 75 cities left don't order something that is more than 75 cities i don't know if i'm making sense but listen assuming something goes wrong okay and your date like leaves you i've seen a lot of these things your date leaves or like he goes away without paying your bill your bill it's not going to be such a hassle you're not going to end up disgracing yourself or anything i don't know if you bab what i'm trying to say but to me i don't order anything i can't pay for like capiche that's just that's just it i don't order anything that myself i can't buy or i can't pay for like it's it's hmm. the way it has helped me eh? don't go ordering stuff out of the ordinary like food that is 150 200 680 because the guy has just taken you on a date and you want to toast him and you want to some people crumple they'll order the food they'll, they'll, they'll order takeout like hello like hey don't even order takeout it's a no no if you're not hungry that is it just sip some juice and then go your way you don't have to uh, take some um, snack and then you you do the food takeaway like it's no don't do that don't order for takeout if you know you're not hungry take some juice or water have a nice convo and then go your way okay let it be that simple guys love to um experience or guys love to have time with ladies that don't spend or don't dig too much into their pockets i swear this is so true if I take you out, as you I'm a guy, and I take you out on a first date, and you spend, like, together, like, only your, your bill, though, only the lady's bill is about, like, 500 cities, and then I take another lady out whose bill is about, say, 80 cities, hello, do you think I'm going to come back for the 500 cities lady? No, obviously, because the second time, it means it's going to shoot up than that. You get it? Uh-huh. So, no guy wants that okay so if you feel you're not um hungry just order, order some water or like juice like a smoothie or something and then you know sip it as you're having a nice conversation and it shouldn't be like you're hungry and you're waiting for him to take you out so you eat you get it okay so our next point is in case you order a food like in case you order for food in the restaurant um please don't eat don't overeat the meal don't over enjoy the meal where you go by doing hmm, hmm, start licking all your fingers and and like the food is all over your mouth you are looking so messy with the food <laughs> you're looking so messy with the food i want to laugh <laughs> oh goodness but why would you want to do that why do you want to disgrace yourself like you are doing maybe are you baby? Because you are not Smith Johnson. I'm begging you. You are not baby. You are not acting a movie. You are on a date, like for real. Okay? So, don't over-enjoy the meal. I'm not saying that you shouldn't say the food is nice. If the food is nice, you can compliment it like in a very nice way. And don't eat all the food in the plate. Like you eat everything, chew the bones. Ah! <laughs> hey, there were some guys who be looking at you in their head saying, Well... So the food is nice you can eat half of the plates or half of what was, was served to you and you're like wow do you actually have a nice food you like you compliment you compliment the chef okay and you were like oh i'll have this meal again and again it's so nice okay in a very nice way don't finish eating and chewing the bones and you even take toothpick and then you're doing hey I do a vacuum cleaner. I go. <laughs> if you have to go, 
you are doing well. Ha! Don't do that. It's a turn off, please. Have you wondered why that guy took you out once and then he didn't call you again? You disgraced yourself. You didn't pass the test. Ha! Huh. Don't do any of that. Don't. Don't. I remember a guy took me out Sunday and I didn't eat, but I wanted to like take out. I called the waiter, told him what I wanted, paid for it. And then when, by the time we were about to leave, like the guy brought my food and was like, who is it for? I'm like, oh, it's mine. Ah, but why didn't you? No, 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 no. I'm like, oh no, it's okay. It's fine. I'm taking it home. It's not part of our date. Why don't you like surprise the guy? Like, why don't you let him know like you too, like you did? You get it. It shouldn't always be about like me. I'm going to toast him. I'm going to spend his money. Which money? I beg. Okay, so moving on, be well put together, especially my ladies. Put yourself together. Be well composed. Yes. Chese, put yourself together, like the way you talk, the way you eat, the way you drink your water, the way you sip the water, the way you swallow your food, everything. Just put yourself together. Let your attitude match how you look. Because I know it's a first date, you're looking so nice, you're smelling... Mm, smelling awesome like everything about you is is like jet jet. so if you get to the table you should make sure that your table manners your etiquette and everything are on point don't let your dress like um, match what is going on on the table let it match jet 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 i mean you get it yes be well put together guys we got this well moving on to the next step don't take things personal i mean it's a first date you don't you don't want to take everything that's ha that happens personal like especially when uh, maybe the guy passes the comments like don't take it personal if, if that's why it's a first date if you don't like it if he calls you you're not going anymore like it's, it's that simple okay so don't take things personal like be open-minded be 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 ready to accept and listen to other people's views and about excuse about issues and and like you know general matters don't don't say because you think a certain way about um something the person should also think like that it doesn't really work like that way so i don't think you should um take things to heart you should just relax and if you don't want to, if you don't like like something you heard just brush it off and move on and if you if you didn't if that first day did not go well for you you don't have to like try you don't owe him a second day i don't i don't know if you get it like you can always say no you get it mm -hmm. so moving on don't expect too much from each other so the lady shouldn't expect too much from the guy and the guy shouldn't expect too much from the lady so like I said, it's just a date. It's just a date, guys. It's just a date. Don't expect too much from each other. I don't know if I can emphasize it, but it's as clear, like it's in clear English, so we, we get it. Um, so if you guys don't force the lady to take something she doesn't want to take. Um, on a table or on a menu, sometimes some of the guys be like, oh, take this food. It's, it's very nice. I tried it the last time and it was nice okay now you tried it right it was nice to you it was nice but for me it might not be nice it might, it might be like the worst thing i've ever tested we we are from different backgrounds i don't know how many times i want to say this but i love eating plantain so if i go to places sometimes <laughs> where there are no plantain i even ask please do you have plantain or can you like can I order for plantain? I cannot tea in a menu, but can I order for it? I ask because I love it. So don't force people to, to order for something they've not eaten before. Let them, like, eh, fried rice, I'll do the fried rice, sir, uh, partial. Men can say, and a good friend is saying, spaghetti bolognese, a deben deben. It's not by force, please. We don't know that food. All we know is potato chips and uh, chicken. Or, we will do with our uh, fried rice and chicken, either grilled or fried. We are good. Don't force anything down my throat. Something that will come 
when I taste it, I just leave the food. Let the lady order for anything or like whatever she wants to eat. Yam with um, fried yam with you know chicken, like fried yam with meat. What like just feel free, okay? Don't order for her. Let her do the choosing herself, and then don't be a talkative on your first date don't be a talker to like you don't want to talk too much okay like this is the first date come on guys like you don't want to be especially with the ladies i wish you guys would be like listen more and then you don't end up saying everything about your past and the guys you have dated <laughs> hey some of us say we have a problem <laughs> your yeah, problem more seriously the guy is trying to express his interest in you know oh then you go and take some stupid guy you dated <laughs> oh goodness <sighs> so don't talk too much don't be a talkative on the first date and make sure um, the next point is for you to make sure you have enough money to carry yourself home like whether uber like or anything don't be dependent on your date that's literally what i'm trying to say don't make it look like you're coming and you're going and everything and you're eating and everything should be no 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 i think it's actually wrong like if a guy asks you out and and like like you come okay you you expect him to pay for your uber you expect him to pay for your food you expect him to pay your transport back home like Yo. Hello. No. <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, it's wrong. It's actually not something you should do. Um, have enough money on you. Like, if you don't have enough money on you, don't go on a date. Like, it's it's as simple as that. Simplicity. That like, if you don't have money, don't go. Finish. Okay. So lastly express your gratitude um whether in his house or at a restaurant or like any open place he took you and he he kept himself together he was a gentleman throughout he made you feel comfortable you felt really really um he he was really nice and he didn't take advantage of you especially if he took you to, to his house he didn't take advantage of you he 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 like he was just so sweet okay express your gratitude don't forget this don't forget to say i had a nice time thank you so much i had a nice time like it doesn't it doesn't spoil anything express gratitude and you know thank him for hosting you and you know we talk later like we do this later so if you did enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and Leave your comments down below if you've had any experience where like your date ran you or something like you know that yawa let me know thank you so much you my next one bye guys Boom.